What's up guys? Today we're going to be doing a three-phase overhead transformer bank. It's a 12470 primary side and 12208 on the secondary side. There's an existing transformer up there right now, so I'm going to go ahead and isolate this transformer by getting rid of those little one bolts connections and then drop out that triplex and get rid of it entirely. Uh, once I get this transformer isolated, I'm going to go ahead and take these bolts and loosen them up and then I'll tap them to make that transformer float a little bit. And then I'll use the jib on the the line truck or the bucket truck and uh, use a transformer sling and pick this transformer off the pole. I'll swing it over and put it in the back of a line truck and then we'll get rid of it later. Then I'll swing back over to the pole and I'll drill out the specs for the transformer bank bracket and then uh, I'll put these new bolts in there because the old bolts, the threading on them is a little rusty and it's a kind of a pain in the butt to, to thread on so I'll just put some new hardware on there. Once I get those bolts in the pole, I'll boom up and I'll put some blankets and some cover up on the phases. I'll blanket up that center phase because the line truck is going to set this transformer bank and it's going to be a little close to that center phase and I don't want it bumping into that shoe or that dead end belt. Uh, once he gets up there, I'll help him guide that bank onto those bolts I just set and then uh, I'll, I'll get them tight and then I'll boom over to the other side and help him get his truck off of the bank and get him out of the way. Once he's out of the way, I'll get that shackle off there as well. We don't want to forget about that. It's like a $30 shackle. So then we'll work on the secondary side. Um, we completely avoid the primary side. I don't want to take a chance of accidentally energizing the secondary uh, side of this transformer bank and then, you know, accidentally in electrocuting somebody. So we're going to just do the secondary side all the way to the building first, get it completely done before we we go up so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shape these legs out of the transformer bank and get them cut and where I like them and then I'll bond that neutral to the system neutral and then I'll take the grounds off of the transformer bank and then I'll brush the wire and I'll take the grounds and bond it uh, to the neutral and also is bonded to the pole ground as well but I didn't get that part of the video in here so now we're going to boom down. We're going to build this secondary dip. It's an underground service, secondary service to the building. So we got to put some uh, UV protected PVC pipe up the pole with some standoff to get it away from the pole. And then I'll measure that last piece about a foot below the neutral. And then I'll put that weather head right there that he threw to me on there. And it'll be about six inches underneath the, the neutral. And the apprentice is making up all the connections so that was kind of a boring part of the video and i didn't want to watch him work so i went ahead and went to the top side and once he he finished those connections he's working his way down the pole and i'm putting this switch bracket on there um, in this situation we had to put the switch bracket above the transformer bank which is not ideal and it's kind of a pain in the ass when you have to go and refuse the switch or change the switch out um, it's not ideal but unfortunately in this situation that was the best route to take because on the other side there was a down guy that was grounded with a really sloppy slacks band like that right there and so we just avoided that situation entirely and kept the switch bracket on the same side as the transformer bracket and so we get the switches hung up there we do the bottom side of the switches first I'll, I'll get the jumpers from the transformer on there and then uh, once I get to the field side I'll just boom up and then start working on the top side of the switches and I'll work my way back to the road side uh, and this right here I brush the wire I put the stirrup on there and then I'll shape the jumper I'll cut it to length I'll put a hotline clamp on there I'll put that hotline clamp on the stirrup and tighten it up with a screwdriver and remove the gut and then hang the barrel that's the order of, order of operation I like to follow um, it's just quick steps try to keep it the same all the way through I don't like to take any more steps than I have to especially up in the primary area so it's just good order of operation I'll get orders from my foreman we'll throw it in check voltage and then the guy the customer customer will be energized so like follow and share for more guys